top of the morning, friends and family. Welcome back to my vlog channel. Uh, today we're going to be going over this beautiful clutch of ball pythons right here. We've almost got the list full. Actually, the list is full, but in my experience, some people tend to drop out based on financial things or they didn't end up getting to have a snake with the sex they want and the genetics they want. So if you want on the list for one of these snakes, there's still time to get in, even though you might not get one, if that makes sense. And we'll be going over this clutch in full detail. And when I say full detail, I mean full detail. All right, but right before we get into looking at the clutch, I've made a habit, a small habit, of uh, talking about my shirts. So I'm gonna share a quick story with you about this tank top right here. One fact you may not know is that I tend to not purchase any of my own shirts that I wear. I get gifts or people buy me shirts. I, I probably buy about 5% of the shirts that I actually wear. And this was one of them. We were traveling through Europe on a post-honeymoon type of, type of deal. And we were in Switzerland for a while, and then we met some friends in London. And so we've been in like the snow, and then London is rainy and foggy. And then we get over to Amsterdam for what ended up being the first day of spring. Not like by the calendar, but by locals said up until then it had been, you know, cold and rainy and just miserable. And that first day we got there, it was all of a sudden pff, sunshine, wonderfulness. And we weren't expecting that necessarily, so when we got there I had no clothes to dress in warm weather. So I went straight down to the shop and, and bought this tank top and one other tank top and uh, that was a great memory and I, I, I think about it every time I put this shirt on. That's enough about that, I know you guys want to see the snakes. Okay, so this clutch was hatched out from my Superfly, Superfly, my Super Pastel Lesser Bullwinkle, who is the most beautiful Super Pastel Lesser I've ever seen in my life to our super fire girl Bernice. So we knew that every single snake was gonna be at least firefly because the super pastel guarantees to pass on pastel to all its offspring, as well as the super fire guarantees to pass on fire to all the offspring. So guaranteed fireflies in this clutch. And then the lesser from father uh, had a 50% chance to be passed on. And true to uh, odds, we got 50% lessers, firefly lessers, and 50% fireflies. It was exact perfect odds on genetics. So we're gonna go through each one of these one by one and we'll sex them all and we'll go over the details of them and then you guys can kind of make your decisions from there on what you think about it or just oogle over these beautiful snakes with me. So this one right here is kind of the lightest of the three. It has, I guess, I would say the least amount of a black color, even though it looks very black. It's, it's actually very, very dark brown almost. So it, maybe, maybe it could be argued that it, some parts of it are black, but again, this is the lightest guy. He's got that classic uh, firefly black flecking in the blushing on the head. I also got some nice blushing happening here on the back. You can see right, right here in the, these areas. And the yellow parts of this pattern are the lightest of the three fireflies. I'm saying he, I don't know if this is a male or female yet. Let's take a look. So that's a female. Let's take a look at her up here. See, I, I assumed her gender. She's a female, and I called her a male. She must be highly offended right now. Look at that beautiful side pattern. Look at how crazy busy that pattern is. Really beautiful. Give you a good look at her belly here. There's nice tracking happening all the way down the sides. Almost looking like it wants to do some yellow belly stuff, but there's absolutely guaranteed no yellow belly in here. Unless something really miraculous happens, but no, there's no yellow belly. Still, look at that beautiful pattern. So this next firefly here, I would consider to be the cleanest. Got some really nice heavy blushing going on on the back, on the dorsal there. Black's are very nice and really clean in the pattern. And you'll see when I show you the next snake what I mean uh, when I'm saying this one is very clean. Got that cool little dot in the back of that, uh, what looks like, uh, I guess, uh, something very phallic on the back of his neck there. Oh, and again, I'm assume, assuming genders yet again. That's a boy. That's a little weenie popping out of there. Weenie, 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 ween. There you go, get a good look at that, uh, that blushing on the back there. Got these nice tracks happening down the belly. Very cool. Not as uh, busy and yellow belly looking as the previous snake. A little more clean. Uh, when she gets to the tail, a little more broken up, but I love hashing out snakes. It's so freaking cool. All right, so we got one boy, one girl, firefly. This one here will be the last firefly in the clutch, and the rest are gonna be firefly lessers from here on out. 
Now, I'm gonna show you on the macro lens in a second here what I mean with this, this detail and, uh, and how this one is, is not nearly as clean. And not, not that it's not a good thing, you know, it just kind of depends on what you like. In my opinion, you know, some, some snakes just have different characteristics and it's really personal preference as far as what you think is beautiful and, and what you think is uh, the nicer of the two. So you can see on the sides here what I'm talking about is all this, this light flecking and gravelly kind of stuff going on in the pattern. This, the other two snakes don't have this. And it's really interesting, and it's also causing this snake to kind of have a, a bit more of a, a peachy orange color in the side pattern where, where the other ones were a bit more, especially the first one was a lot more light yellow in that side pattern there. So, that's pretty sweet. Get that head there for you. Kind of move down the whole body, or I'll let the body move through the shot and see if we can't make it look nice by doing that. Look at that right there. That is freaking cool, man. All these different alien heads crossing up over the top. I love that. It's all one connected piece. This one, I would say, has the highest contrast between the black and yellow. I don't know if I said that about the last one, but if I did, I'd take it back. And it's it's this one that has the highest contrast for sure. I don't think we, we haven't sexed this one yet. Let's, let's get a look here. But they're there. Little peenies popping right out. It's a peeny, 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 peeny. So it's another boy. So we've got two firefly males and one firefly female. Looking real nice like. Let's get a shot of that belly for you right here. Mmm, belly shot. Mm-hmm. 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 So not nearly as much tracking going on with this boy as there was on the other boy and girl. So this guy has a lot of different, the mo this is the most different of the two, I guess. Uh, given the fact that he doesn't have the tracking like the other two do, and given the fact that he's got that crazy gravelly stuff going on in his side pattern that the other two do not have. All right, on to the Firefly Lessers. This is the darkest of the three Firefly Lessers. And Lesser, of course, lightens up the snake quite a bit, so the other two are gonna be lighter than this. This is, this is the darker one. And for a lesser especially, it's, it's exceptionally dark. And also has what I would say is the highest contrast out of the clutch for the Firefly lesser side of things. Let's get a look-see here. I mean, that look, feels like a female to me even without popping anything out, but let's be sure. Yep, sure enough, female. No peens packing up in that pouch. Look at the beauty of the pattern on this snake. Pretty freaking sweet, if you ask me. Kind of got a little mild ringer going on down there at the tail. Doesn't quite come over the top. The, the tail stripe is still all the way intact across the top, however. And all three of these Firefly Lessers have this Y on the neck and the back of the head, just like Dad does. He has that same exact mark in there. That's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting indeed. You know, it's a lot harder to show the snakes off on a macro lens by yourself than you might think. I need I need to hire a cameraman, man. All right, so we got two left. This one, I would say, is the second darkest, with the last one being the darkest again. And, yep, another beautiful firefly lesser. Nice pattern action. And let's get a close-up look. See if we're dealing with a boy or a girl here. I'm gonna say girl again. Yep, that's a girl, all right. Ooh. Oh, she's got this really light. The belly has this uh, crazy, again, almost kind of like a, a faint yellow belly thing happening with the broken up uh, belly pattern there, so. Pretty interesting, pretty cool. Nice blushing throughout the dorsal there. Kind of a classic Firefly Lesser, I would say. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. You see that shallow depth of field we're working with. It's <laughs> it's challenging, man. I, I gotta get Hillary down here running the camera, but she's up there taking care of the kids, so there's not, I mean, I'm on my own. All right, so that's uh, two Firefly Lesser females. We've got one last Firefly Lesser, and that's gonna be it for the clutch. This snake, 
Yeah, let's figure it out real quick so I can stop assuming genders and I can just call him or her by what he or she is. I'm looking and I, I can see a bulge there. I'm I'm going with male just by looking at that tail. It's uh it's what I see. Let's find out the truth. Yep, peen shooting right out. Boy it is. And this guy has the most blushing of all three. I'd say he's the lightest. Uh, his his pattern is almost trying to to break up in spots, especially down here. Like you can see right right in here, especially it's like right in here, especially it's like the lines of the pattern around the alien head are, are starting to break up a bit. And there's definitely a much more blushing on this guy right here than on the two females. And it's interesting that the females are more similar, and then the, the male is much different. Look at that, pretty cool. Look how uniform all those alien head eyes are, the little keyholes. Pretty similar in size going all the way down the snake. And I think most of them had this nice tail stripe going on here too. Sweet, so that's the last one, a oh boy. So we got 2.1, which for those of you that don't realize uh, what the decimal points mean, if you say 2.1, it means you got two males and one female. It must have been a man who came up with that decision because Males are first. 2.1 uh, fireflies and 1.2 firefly lessers. So we got exact perfect odds on this clutch. Like you couldn't have more perfect odds. We got exactly the odds on genetics. Half firefly lessers, half fireflies, half females, half males. You really couldn't hit any more perfect odds than that. That's exact perfect odds. Um, so cool, cool, nice, nice clutch to start out the season this year and Man, look at the blushing on that guy again. There's just really intense blushing going on on this this dude right here. And when I'm saying blushing, just for, for those of you guys that are unfamiliar with uh, ball python morphs and whatnot, um, the blushing is, is in between the pattern here. You just see how much, how faded out and, and almost white it is. Versus the other snakes who are much darker in between the alien head patterns like that. So, yeah, just... Much heavier blushing on this guy. Thank you guys for letting me share this clutch with you. Um, I know it's Monday, we didn't do Music Monday today, but we're gonna do a Music Monday on Friday, which is kind of weird, but not as weird as it's gonna be when you actually see Friday's video and see that too. So it's, <laughs> we're doing Music Monday on Friday, and then Friday is just gonna just, gonna, just stay tuned for Friday, you'll see what happens. I just wanted to say something for you guys that are getting on the list for these snakes. I'm hoping that, uh, that you guys are, are people that are wanting to keep these snakes and not just like resell them or do something like that. I, I really prefer to have my snakes go to homes where they're gonna stay and not be bouncing around all over the place. Again, I'm not gonna like come bang down your door in 20 years saying, where's that snake you better have? But, but at the same time, that's, that's kind of what I hope for is that I hope that this is gonna be an animal that you, you take home and you care for and you keep. So if you could just keep that in mind when you're hitting me up to put you on these lists, then I, I would appreciate that. And uh, yeah, man, uh, thanks again. We'll see you on Friday, it's gonna be a good one.